When your family is taken away from you, it can be tragic. A family from Big Spring has dealt with the loss of their father for the past 10 years. The worst part, they haven't gotten any closure. Daniel Flores' murder has remained unsolved since 2013. Here's Marcus Risen with this week's Basins Unsolved. Thanks, Crystal. 10 years is a long time without closure, and this family could really use some. We all came out here looking and looking, but we couldn't find him nowhere. Daniel Flores was a father, a grandfather, and a husband, and he would do anything for his family. Daniel was a good person. He was good to anybody and everybody. 10 years ago, however, Flores was found dead, holding a picture of who he loved. He was holding a picture of the three boys. You could tell that that's what he was looking at when he died. Found dead in his son's car days after he was deemed missing. This is the story of Daniel Flores. How we met is crazy. I was raised here, he was raised across the street. Both raised in Big Spring, Texas, Lou Sherman was once married to Daniel Flores. It just went from there, we wound up dating, and then we wound up getting married. We were married 18 years. We had three kids. A childhood romance turned into a tragedy. My middle son used to live here, and then um, Daniel came in one night and said that some people had beat him up. He told him who did it and what they did, you know, like kicking him in the head, the, the spine, whatever. And he was bleeding. You could tell he'd been fighting back. And my middle son tells him just to lay down, Dad. We'll take care of it tomorrow. I got to be at work at 6 o'clock in the morning. Unfortunately, tomorrow was too late. Flores was missing the next morning. It took us two days to find him. Where they found him was right in front of their house. And he actually died in an old car that him and my middle son was going to redo and make him a low rider. Right here where we're at, he died right here. Lou's middle son was the one who found him. The picture of him and his siblings still in his father's hands. When he found him, he still had that picture in his hand. He fell over sideways, and he still had that picture in his hand. And Lou claims his murder was over something trivial. And just over a six pack of beer. It's just crazy. Even though it's been a decade since his death, the pain still lingers within this family. I mean, every year it is so hard. My kids struggle just to come over here. It's just too much for them. I'm, and I tell them, I said, we can always do something, you know, do it somewhere else, but they want to do it here where he died. Lou and the family think they know who did it. Despite this, however, the Big Spring Police Department still says it's an open investigation 10 years later. Well, we were told that there wasn't enough blood on the, a hammer or a pair of shoes, stuff that they had used. There wasn't enough blood, wasn't enough evidence on there to use it against the people that did this. They did find a little bit of stuff, but they said there wasn't enough for evidence on there to prove who did what. 10 years is a long time without closure, and this family could really use some. And I know there's people out there that know stuff. I wish they'd just come forward and tell them so that it could get solved and my kids could get closure. You might have all the information the Big Spring Police Department needs to give this family some closure. If they have any information, they can co contact Crime Stoppers. They say there's still a $1,000 reward out there. A reward that Lou hopes can finally give her family some answers. Now, I have reached out to the Big Spring Police Department, but because this is an active investigation, they declined to give any information. They did say if you have any information about this case, to reach out to Detective Sergeant John Hayes at 432-264-2558, or you can contact Crime Stoppers at 432-263-TIPS.